Hey fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World. We're in Stockholm at Skansen, the outdoor kind of open air park. So you can see how old Sweden is. You notice the red on these buildings, Swedish red. Yes, you'll see that that's kind of a historic color here for buildings in Sweden. And today what we have for you are some of the differences between the US and Sweden. So when travelers are coming to Sweden, they know some of the differences out there. So let's get started. First thing, the language. In Sweden, they speak svenska, Swedish, okay? But what's cool is they all speak English super well here. So that's what makes it a great vacation destination for people that want to go to a non-English speaking country but have English spoken everywhere, you'll be fine. Okay, some of the basic words you need to know, hey is hi, hey do is bye, tuck is thank you, you'll be fine. Okay, so that's about all you need because they'll understand right away, like you're not from around here. Switching to perfect English, you'll be fine. Unlike, unlike the US where no one will speak Swedish and basically you're speaking English and that's about it. Okay, now the second thing I want to talk about is money. Now if you want to get money out, here, they kind of prefer credit cards or debit cards that have the chip in it. So make sure if you're taking your credit card and your debit card, you have a PIN number. Okay, you need the PIN number to make your purchases. Sometimes you can do it and you can sign, but it's best if you have a PIN number just in case. It makes things move along a lot faster. Uh, so kind of credit card is more king than cash, but they do have cash here and it's called the Krona. Okay, if you look in the newspaper, it'll say SEK, but when you look at prices, it'll have 10 and then KR at the end. Now the exchange rate, I mean, this is, you know, middle of 2000. 15 the exchange rates about eight krona to the dollar okay something about there to give you a rough idea of the price in terms of prices in general I think Sweden's about 20 to 30 percent more expensive than the US for food lodging and these kind of things because it's not a super cheap place to go but it's you know a cool place to go but it's not the cheapest one now in terms of the currency they do have bills and they have coins bills you might see a 1,000 krona note but very rarely like if someone gives that to you, pay attention, ask for two 500s. Well, 500 krona notes, 100 krona notes, 50 krona notes, and 20 krona notes, okay? And then they do have coins, and there's a 10 crown, or there's a 10 krona uh, coin, it's a little like copper looking one, okay? Then there's a five crown, or a five krona coin, a one krona coin, and then they have like a 50 cent piece, which I've really never ever seen, so you're probably not gonna see it either. But that's the kind of money they have here, but most likely you're gonna be using your card to pay, and that's just fine. Now, if you want ATMs, they're all around the city, so you have no problem getting money out that way. It's usually a good deal if you use your debit card to get the best exchange rate. Um, there are a few exchange houses, but not very many, so you're probably gonna go through your bank, so make sure you call your bank and credit card to let them know you're going to Sweden, so your cards work here. Now, one of the things you look at in terms of money is if we're going out to eat, you know, like I said, 20, 30% more, so, you know, $20, $25 for a meal, you know, it's normal price for per person. Um, and you might ask, do I tip? Well, some places will say, no, you don't tip, but I would say your, your tipping here should be about 5%. Okay, you don't have to go any higher than that. 5% is fine. If you don't tip, no one's gonna like come after you, but here about 5%, you should be fine. All right. Now, in terms of when you are tipping, you're tipping about the things you're going to eat. Now, what are you going to eat here? Now, Stockholm has amazing restaurants, but it's not always Swedish food that has the amazing food, okay? There's a lot of great international cuisine in Sweden, especially in Stockholm, but if you want to have Swedish food, yes, you do have your Swedish meatballs, but they just call them meatballs here for some reason, and you'll have like gravy with it. You're going to see a lot of potatoes, a lot of little tiny potatoes you'll see, boiled potatoes. Just smash them up, put some butter on it. Fantastic. Then, of course, this sill or herring. It might be pickled. It might be all kinds of different ways they cook it. Um, you got these crispy cracker bread called Knackerbrod, which is pretty good. You put it with butter on there. There's all kinds of stuff on here. But we have a we have a video on what you should eat when you're here. Go check that one out. Oh, snops. You want to have a little snop a schnapp. That's what you have with your herring. Anyway. In terms of when you go out to eat, you also might think about the service quality here. Now, Sweden has pretty crappy service, okay? It's not very friendly, it's not very helpful. But the thing is, it's not that the people aren't friendly and helpful. You have to ask for their help. Okay, if you ask for them to help, they'll be glad to help you. If you're gonna ask the waiter for something, they'll be glad to explain it to you, no problem. But they're not gonna go out of their way to do it. You have to ask for it. That's why some people think the Swedes are a little kind of odd or rude or something like that. They're not odd or rude, you just have to ask them. Okay, they're a little more reserved and shy than rude. Another thing we like to do is when we're going on vacation, we like to drink, and the Swedes do like to drink. Now, the beer's not super fantastic here, so if you want to go buy harder stuff, you can't just go to the local 7-Eleven and get some vodka or some tequila or whatever it is you like to drink. You have to go to Systembloget, which is 
the government owned liquor store. And if you want to have a party on a Saturday, make sure you're getting your liquor purchases done by one o'clock because they're closed and they're not open on Sunday. So they are pretty strict about buying hard alcohol. My backpackers through Europe, a lot of them are a little upset because they're trying to go buy alcohol or go to clubs. And some clubs have yet to be 20 or 23 to get in. So you should know that. Also, if you're going to go out here, they do have face control at the clubs where if you don't look the part, or you don't dress the part, they're not going to let you in. So be prepared for that. It's not whoever's waiting in line. Now, excuse me, another thing you should know about here in Sweden versus the U.S. Well, actually, they're kind of the same. People do wait in line here, but make sure you get right up on them because someone else will come in there because they'll think, oh, you're not in line. I'm just going to pop in front of you. That's happened to quite a few times at the breakfast buffet <laughs> at the hotel and other places. So you've got that to look out for. So now let's look at some shopping things and some things here. If you're going to go shopping here, actually, stores are open on Sunday in Sweden. Oh, my God, in Europe. Shopping on Sunday, I know it's crazy, but they actually do have Sunday shopping hours here in Sweden, which is really cool. Now, in terms of things you might need, you buy, you might want to plug in somewhere. The plugs here, you know, in the US, we have the two ones like this. Well, here in Sweden, it's like all of continental Europe, it's two circle ones like that, okay? To give you an idea of what's on there, your phones, your tablets, your laptops will all be fine. You just need a little converter, plug it in, you're good to go. Now, a lot of times people think, oh, am I going to be worried? I mean, will my laptop get stolen or my phone get stolen? Sweden is super safe. You will be totally fine here. No one's going to rob you. No one's going to take your stuff. You'll be okay. Now, I'm not saying don't pay attention. I'm just saying you don't have to be overly cautious all the time worrying, uh oh, is that person going to take my bag? Is that person going to taste my stuff? No, it's very safe here in Sweden. And that's one of the nice things about it is you don't have to worry. And they speak English really well. So it makes it a really nice, easy transfer from going to UK where they speak English to a country that doesn't speak English as a native language, but you'll still be okay here. All right. Now, next thing I want to talk about is transport. They do have a very good public transport system here to get you wherever you want to go. But the thing is, the Swedes will tell you it's usually running late. That's okay. It'll still get you where you want to go. And the tickets can be very expensive. And sometimes getting the tickets can be a bit of a pain. For example, here in Stockholm, trying to get the card that you can load up to ride the buses, metros, and stuff like that can be a bit frustrating. And the last and probably most important thing for some people are the toilets here in Sweden. Yes, they're normal sit down toilets. You're totally fine. The only thing I'd let you to know is if you're going to be doing some business there, it's not like in the US where you just push it once and it goes away. Here, sometimes you actually have to push it and hold it down and then it's till all the water flushes it down. Doesn't happen all the time, but you might want to pay attention because you don't want to leave a surprise for the person after you. Another thing with the toilets, if you're looking for public toilets, there are not a lot of them out there in Sweden. And if you do find one, a lot of times you're going to have to pay like 10 crowns or 10 krona to use it. So just be ready for that. So have some maybe five crowns to get in there. But it's, it's not always that way, but just be prepared. So like that's why, you know, I carry the coins in my pocket just in case. You know, I've got a 10 and a five just in case whatever the price is. So I hope that helps you know a little bit more about getting ready to go ch check out Sweden. It is a cool place to go. We've got lots of videos to help you out. Five things you love and hate about coming to Sweden. Five things you love and hate about coming to Stockholm. Top 10 sites in Stockholm. Five things that will shock you about Sweden. All kinds of great stuff on our website at waltersworld.com. And if you want to see more videos like this when they first come out, click the subscribe button down below and you'll come up in your news feed whenever a new video comes. Anyway, we appreciate your support and hey do from Sverige, Sweden. Bye. Hey, no. <laughs>